Okay, y'all, how y'all doing? So I'm not gonna be here very long because I really, really, truly don't have much to say um, in regards to this episode. Um, I skipped a lot of it. Um, and honestly and truly, I'm kind of like, I'm tired of like, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm tired of like talking about the same shit when it comes to this. Like, Brandy wants to be the victim so badly before i get to that because i'm not going to talk about this very long let's talk about the real house of salt lake city news so if y'all don't know i'm pretty sure y'all gotta know by now jen shaw from the real housewives of salt lake city which is a show that i did review um sorry y'all that's my dog in the background he's having issues um she and her assistant was um arrested for i think they said the telemarketing scheme so i'm gonna read from the new york post newyorkpost.com okay the real housewives of salt lake city star jen shaw was arrested on tuesday for allegedly money laundering and defrauding hundreds of elderly people in, tele in a tele telemarketing scam but her alleged victims weren't the only ones getting faked out so were bravo fans okay hold on this is about her house so let me keep reading the 47-year-old breakout star quickly became notorious for her flamboyant fashions and her friendship faux pas. Blah, 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 Okay, here we go. However, the 3.9 million Salt Lake City rental she grandly passed off as the Shaw Ski Chalet, y'all know the really, really huge big house, actually never leave belong to shaw the post has learned oh girl let me keep reading instead the 9420 square foot home featured on the show is owned by the texas real estate rental company yes it was a gasp rental oh bitch now to me see i don't i personally don't give a fuck if people rent homes like i personally don't give a fuck about that however karma <coughs> When you want a Real Housewives, everybody know if you were to watch the Real, uh, watch the Real Housewives, that when people be renting, they don't find it cute. Mostly because y'all be out here spending money on all of this stupid ass shit, and y'all really be trying to make it seem like. I mean, it is technically her home because she rents it, but it's not your home home. You didn't build it, you didn't own it. Ooh, bitch. But anyway, her and her assistant, you know, um, are pre like pretty much like I said, they are. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Her assistant, sorry, it took me so long to figure out that word. Her assistant, I think, I don't know what his name was, but the guy that's her assistant was actually part of it too. Let me keep reading, let me keep reading. Brandy, how are you? Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Check this shit out. Check this shit out, right? I'm still reading the New York Post. Listen to what this says. But there was even gossip in the housewives' inner circle. On a February 12th episode of a weekly dose of BS hosted by the Real Housewives of Dallas star Brandy and Stephanie Holtman, which y'all remember the um, little podcast they have, Redmond, who is Brandy, revealed that she knew someone from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City was renting. I do not know that one of, I do know that one of the ladies is renting a house. I don't know who it is because I don't know the cast, but I do know one of them is a renter because they're renting some friends of mine's homes. So let's just stop right there. This is perfect. This is fucking perfect. I don't know how to spell it to my lap. This is perfect okay brandy so you want to talk about talking to the press huh and putting people's business out there but you went on your podcast and talked about somebody else's life hmm 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 ironic isn't it i fucking ironic isn't it brandy isn't it let's get to oh girl i can't wait to go on twitter and really go the fuck in and let have on you brandy Let's get to it. Oh, bitch, that 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 fell right in my lap. I didn't even ask for that information. It, let's keep going, okay? So, 
Stephanie pretty much talks about how she's gonna take all of the girls to Oklahoma, which is where she's originally from. They're gonna look for Big Bigfoot. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Then we deal with it's the twins' birthdays, Dr. Tiffany's kids. Um, she's very triggered by her mama being nice to the kids, which is like I've been there because like as the oldest you all if you're anybody who's like i mean even if you have kids like i said it kind of works this way too but like as the oldest you see like how your parents raised you and the shit that they didn't let you get away with versus the shit that they let your sibling like my my youngest sister is like 14. the shit she allowed to get away with i would have been put through this window and then some if i even tried it so i feel her so i feel on that they have a little tea party at the hotel, mind you, that her family owns, okay? That her husband's family owns, okay? And um, she said that one of the kids' favorite uh, food is caviar. I said, come on, rich bitch shit. Come on, rich bitch shit, okay? Um, but she pretty much felt like she's never good enough. Because I think her mom brought something up like, oh, like, don't, don't you? This is this is what confused me about it. Okay, because her mom was like, um, do you still get, like, your full benefits? And she was like, no, you get 80% of your benefits. You get however percentage it is that you work that's what you get so i get 80 percent. and she was like no i'm talking about medical she said no we're fully covered but what i don't understand is and maybe she just don't understand it but dr tiffany could probably go down to 50 percent working and she would still probably be able to come out of pocket for insurance for all of them without a problem she's in a hotel that her husband's family owns Look at the fucking house. I'm pretty sure if she had to pay out of pocket for insurance, she could. Just saying. Anyway, so they do that. Then, um, I don't know, something happened with Cam in the house. I fast forwarded through all that because I watched this um, yesterday. Because I'm watching, I'm going to do a video. I don't know if I'm going to do it today. I'm going to try to do it today. I'm going to do a video on the Derek Chauvin trial. Um, and so I watched this episode in between like one of the recess breaks. I think it was a lunch break that they had. So I fast forwarded through camp stuff. To be quite honest, I really don't care. Something about the house. I think she got the house. Don't give a fuck. Don't care about white privilege women. Don't care. Next. Okay. So then we get Brandy, right? And so Brandy is chilling, getting ready to go. I think she's about to go meet Deandra or whatever the case may be. Um, because I think her and Deandra had talked about meeting up or some shit like that. But anyway, Brandy gets this little Google alert that's pretty much like, I don't know where it was from, but the article pretty much was like, oh, Deandra has said, like, they asked Deandra about, will the video that Brandy did, will it be addressed this season? And all Deandra said was like, yes, it's going to be um, um, addressed head on. Brandy is not trying to run from it. You know, we're going to go ahead and this is an important topic. Brandy takes that and snaps the hell out. It's like, Brandy, you want to be victim so fucking bad. It bothers. I don't, bro, Bravo, Andy, don't bring this bitch back on our screen no more. I don't have the patience as a woman of color to sit on my TV and watch a white woman. Do a racist act and then turn around the whole season and play victim i don't have time what brandy's problem is brandy wants somebody to feel bad for her brandy wants somebody to fucking coddle her and that's not going to happen like shout out to deandra because deandra I, I never really said this before because i know i don't like normally like like to say shit like that but deandra has liked um one of my videos before deandra has liked a few of my tweets in regards to this so i know that she see me i see you deandra you see me we see we see each other okay we see each other and i put up i put up this tweet that deandra liked which is the fact that i don't understand how you're trying to blame deandra deandra did not write the headline deandra did not write the fucking article she was asked a question she wasn't even ignorant in what she answered okay it's called repercussions and that can come at any point in time so she has a whole attitude or whatever the case may be in oh why would you talk to the press about me and blah blah blah, blah. she didn't even say anything bad calm down okay and so what and like i have in my notes you said it but this is my thing Brady. you did it and i don't know if when you went away to these little health treatments or whatever did they talk to you did they talk to you about accountability did they talk to you about accountability did they talk to you about accountability and what that means that means taking responsibility for your actions. Not everything that happens afterwards. We're talking about your fucking actions, Brandy. She pissed me the hell off. Again, playing fucking victim. So she ends up texting Deandra or whatever. 
like oh i just seen what you had to say about me in the press and so i don't feel comfortable getting together with you so did you at the house you know with her man living her best life okay no kids on the end living her best life i'm pretty sure she won't kids but i'm just saying she over there living her best life or whatever being fine and shit okay just had a nice little date with her husband i thought that that was really cute they're so cute to me um and so she gets, you know, the text message from Brandy, and she pretty much fell up. She's like, I don't got time for that shit. She pretty much go upstairs, and the producer's like, no, what's wrong? And she's like, y'all are not about to do this. And I told her, y'all are not about to turn this whole situation around and put it on me. And Deandra, oh my gosh, Deandra is so fucking right when she said this. She's like, because I know what's going to happen. She's going to go tell the girls, and all of the girls is going to turn on me. That's a fact, because you, I, and I, and I don't understand. I said this in the beginning of the season, and I'm going to say it again. I don't understand why is everybody on this cast except Deandra giving Brandy and no not even Deandra because Deandra did it too because I cursed her out too why are all of y'all giving her so much fucking leeway on this situation but y'all didn't fucking do that for the kids and I'm sticking by that and I don't care how time how many times people are mad about me bringing it up I'm gonna keep bringing it up it's the facts of the matter I don't understand how y'all can give Brandy so much fucking leeway when in my opinion, it's not even y'all decision whether or not to give her leave because she didn't fucking offend y'all. I'm sorry to curse, but she didn't offend y'all. Okay? So I'm here for Deandra. Deandra did not say, she didn't say a lie and she didn't say one thing wrong. She didn't say, oh, well, um, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, she gonna go over there and blah, blah, because she was running her mouth too much or I completely disagree. I, I don't respect the Brandy no more or yeah, Brandy was on there talking shit and she didn't even come on here. She didn't even say, yeah, um, she did talk about it, but she, she also was projecting a whole lot. You'll see a whole lot of projecting this season. You'll see a whole lot of victim blaming and her trying to play victim and her not owning that kind of stuff did she say any of that no she simply said it will be addressed brandy is going to address it what the fuck is so wrong with saying that what whatever so we get everybody get ready they all get ready or whatever the case may be to go to wherever the fuck they go into the oklahoma they get to oklahoma and brandy thought that she was being cute and she's like oh i was cute until i got a google alert shout out shout out to my girl deandra because deandra was like and and if you my thing is brandy if you so big bad and bold to try to come at her like that trying to be slick like she said and what's up you gonna say it or not or you just gonna sit there and play coy don't buck up and then don't be ready to step forward brandy you wanted to be all high and mighty and then, until i got google alert so then speak on it speak on it because i don't know what you're talking about that's right deandra so she tells her well i don't think that it was fair you didn't give me the opportunity to say what it is that i wanted to say pause for the freaking cause um brandy do you not have an instagram do you not have a facebook do you not have a twitter do you not have any type of social media platform Form to where you couldn't have went out and addressed this already you could have did that not her fault that you didn't she didn't even address it for you and then see carrie curry you wasn't bothering me this whole freaking time but here you go well you see that she da 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 it was selfish it was selfish it was selfish i don't understand how it was selfish for her to answer a simple question which is was this just because this is brandy was pretty much trying to make it seem like i didn't like the headline and what the headline said did the it am i wrong does deandra own a newspaper that i don't know about is she a newspaper editor that i don't know anything about yeah she could have said no comment but it doesn't mean that the headline wouldn't have still been there the headline still probably would have read real housewives of dallas will possibly be um, you know, attacking or, you know, talking about the Brandy Redman situation, the Brandy, Brandy Redman racist video, because she didn't die. She wasn't the one who said that. So again, Brandy, you pissing me off. I I, I already went all, all, all uh, over all my points earlier in this damn video, because I couldn't hold it. You're full of shit. And then for me to see now on the New York Post that you went on your motherfucking platform when nobody asked you anything no reporter nobody wants to do anything you freely offered up information about somebody else's life that ain't none of your fucking business but you want to get on here and talk about somebody else talking to the press when bitch you are the press and you went and you wearing your mouth about somebody else's business i don't see the difference you actually came out your mouth and said that somebody doesn't own their home and you know that for a fact did she say i know brandy's a racist and i know that for a fact i cannot wait because when i post this shit on twitter i'm i'm digging in on brandy's ass because when i post this shit on twitter i'm definitely posting that new york post article too to ram into your ass you're not gonna continuously sit 
on our TVs and play the fucking victim. You did the offending, but this whole fucking season, you've been the one playing fucking victim. Brandy, nobody has to feel bad for you. And like I said on my Twitter, it's called repercussions because she's like, oh, well, I had to deal with that before and now it has to come up again. Brandy, it's called repercussions, which can come at any point in time. Do you think, do you know how long ago Chris Brown put his hands on Rihanna? Do you know how long ago that was? Guess what? It's still going to be something that's brought up regardless because it's part of his freaking past, okay? It's something that happened. It's something that he's going to have to deal with the rest of his life. Same thing with you. It's called repercussions. So you think, Brandy, that just because it happened, you should have been able to deal with it right then and there. My thing is, did you not think it was going to come back up again once the show came out? Duh. Duh. It's not up to you. It's not up to you how and when people deal with something or when people have something to say. Even if DeAndre would have never said anything, which when I found out about this video, it wasn't because of DeAndre. It was because of some other damn news articles that I seen. It didn't have nothing to do with what DeAndre said. And I still would have came in and went in and let half on your ass. Shout out to giving you the real tea. Girl, bye. Girl. Bye, bitch. Bye.